welcome to the TARDIS exhibition at the Dubai Air Show 2011. Uh, today we're here demonstrating some equipment from the in-flight entertainment and connectivity group based in Irvine in California. We're showing examples of equipment which will be installed on various aircraft types from 2012 onwards and forms part of our next generation in-flight entertainment platform which is known as Top Series Avant. We're showing examples of the economy uh, seat screen, which is a 12-inch uh, capacitive touch screen interface and supports high-definition video, MPEG-4, and a very, very wide range of applications delivered through the use of the Android operating software and the Android market. As you can see, it's a very responsive uh, interface. Uh, we have swipe capability which is very much in line with the latest uh, consumer electronics devices which is which are available in the marketplace the viewing experience for the passenger is a very rich and high quality uh, video stream uh, and again integrates the latest in high definition closed caption capabilities all of the passenger interface uh, functions are integrated into the screen itself uh, which means we can avoid the need for a control handset which is particularly valuable in economy class configurations in terms of reducing weight and minimizing maintenance. We're also integrating what we call uh, smart passenger interface modules and each of these modules is independently changeable so we can have a combination of audio, uh, Apple uh, device connectivity, USB and then we've also got an example here of an early prototype of a webcam uh, for uh, barcode reader technology. We also have um, our moving map and uh, information services which we take from the aircraft uh, location based information and for the first time um, we're showing uh, use of the Android operating system which means for the first time we, we can integrate games directly from the Android marketplace. Uh, here's an example of uh, a very popular application we've taken directly from uh, the Android marketplace. This is a much more consumer oriented experience than uh, current systems are, are capable of offering. Uh, it's a very graphically rich and extremely, uh, extremely responsive um, solution. Obviously, we don't uh, we don't necessarily uh, supply the headsets to our airline clients. They're um, usually selecting those themselves. What we have been able to do is introduce some uh, new uh, software-based solutions, which are independent of the hardware itself, independent of the headset. And a good example of this is a 3D audio technology that we launched earlier this year uh, on a, on Air China, and this enables a very similar experience to a surround sound uh, home theatre uh, entertainment offering uh, without any changes to the hardware or the headset. So um, independent of the hardware, independent of the, the headset itself, we're able to uh, greatly improve the, the audio experience for, for the passengers. So today you interface with an IFE system with a touchscreen or the actual controller, but we've actually introduced a third interface which is gesture control. So basically with my hand, I can actually easily navigate through the screen without ever touching the screen. So I have truly a unique experience for a passenger to be able to navigate through movies and be able to launch movies as well. So in addition to that experience, you can also have controls over the player controls. So I can actually pause this movie. I can go back to the beginning choose something else, all with the navigation of a hand. I can go to album art and be able to navigate through my selection of album art that I may have and be able to listen to music as well. 
We actually have uh, some airlines that are very interested. We're still in negotiations with them. We're hoping to bring this in uh, the next year, at least, to the market. Uh, it's not something that would replace the current Avant system, but an enhancement to the experience for the passenger. Everything that we're trying to do is really trying to evolve the experience. What you do on the ground, the passengers expect to be able to do in the air. So now that they have Xbox and Wii's on the ground, you now can bring that experience up into the air and have games and, and transfer that experience. You don't have to touch the screen. If you're in a lay down bed seat, you don't have to hunt for your controller. You can just navigate and it just creates a different experience when you're interfacing as well. Um, interesting, we've had some germaphobes that said this is great because I don't actually have to touch the screen. <laughs>